it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episode number 40! And it's the final Monday Night Raw before we get to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view and we're kicking it off with a little bit of action! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiser Wings, Pete Dunne. The final Raw before we get to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And speaking of Extreme Rules, this man, the Bruiser Weight, Pete Dunne, is set to defend the Intercontinental Championship the next time we come your way on pay-per-view on Sunday night, August the 7th, as the Bruiser Weight goes one-on-one -on -one with the Prince. Finn Balor, what a matchup that is going to be for the Intercontinental Championship coming up Sunday night, August the 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It is going to be a huge event. This is the final Monday Night Raw before we get to Extreme Rules. And we're wasting absolutely no time this evening getting right into the action of what is going to be an action-packed night inside the squared circle. Weighing in at 180 pounds, he is the Irish Ace, Jordan Devlin. And tonight, Pete Dunne goes up against a fellow United Kingdom competitor, the Irish Ace and former Cruiserweight Champion, Jordan Devlin. It's been a little while since we've seen this man compete inside the squared circle, but this will be a huge test for Pete Dunne. Days before he steps inside the ring, with Finn Balor, he goes one-on-one -on -one with a man who knows Finn Balor very well, that being the Irish ace Jordan, Ed Jordan Devlin. It should be a great matchup, a great test for Pete Dunn before he gets to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Man, is it going to be a huge night here on Monday Night Raw. Extreme Rules shaping up to be a huge event. We're going to be talking about it all throughout the night, running down the card later this evening. Eight matches signed for that event. And one that is yet to be announced that we are going to get to later this evening, right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Irish Ace Jordan Devlin, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, the current reigning Intercontinental Champion, his final matchup before he gets to the pay-per-view. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. The bell has sounded and we are underway here. Pete Dunne taking it right to Jordan Devlin off the opening bell. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up in tonight's main event, still to come, two men that will participate in the WWE Championship matchup at Extreme Rules. For the first time ever, one-on-one, -on -one, the franchise John Cena takes on Mustafa Ali. What a matchup that is going to be in our main event, of course, coming up at Extreme Rules. Those two men will be part of five in that five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship. John Cena, Mustafa Ali, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, and of course the Rated R Superstar and defending WWE Champion Edge. We'll be talking about that matchup and more throughout this evening. But John Cena and Mustafa Ali going to one on one for the first time ever later tonight in your Monday Night Raw main event. And as for Pete Dunne coming up at Extreme Rules, as you saw, he will be going one on one with the Prince Finn Balor. A man he's got history with from NXT. And boy, what a wrestling clinic I'm sure those two men are going to put on on a night where WWE goes extreme. Pete Dunne already has one Intercontinental Championship defense under his belt. That, of course, coming the night after he won the championship on the Raw after SummerSlam, where he successfully defended the gold against the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. And of course, it was at the SummerSlam pay-per-view back on June the 26th. When Pete Dunne defeated Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in that triple threat matchup to become the new Intercontinental Champion. The situation has been de developing the last number of weeks between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus because of that contest. Those two men with a lot of history themselves, they're going to meet at Extreme Rules in that no holds barred matchup. What a matchup that is going to be between the Scottish Psychopath and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Which didn't start, but it certainly. Fueled the fire at SummerSlam when Pete Dunne pinned Drew McIntyre in that triple threat matchup, causing Sheamus to lose the Intercontinental Championship without even having to be pinned on that night in Phoenix. A lot of writing on that contest. But Pete Dunne, all, saw, all eyes are set for him on the Prince Finn Balor. 
I'm sure Sheamus is going to want another shot eventually to get back the Intercontinental Championship over the Bruiser Ape. But right now, both those men have other tasks in mind. But before Pete Dunne can even get to Seattle, Washington in Extreme Rules, he's got Jordan Devlin in the ring these last number of minutes. And he's taking the fight to the Irish Ace. And Jordan Devlin, no slouch inside of that ring. Former participant in NXT and 205 Live, NXT UK. He's a former Cruiserweight Champion of the World, is Jordan Devlin. Very rough and tough inside of the ring, as are a lot of these United Kingdom competitors. Jordan Devlin's dazed and Pete Dunne coming from the top rope. Dropping that forearm to a bloody head of Jordan Devlin. Got cracked open a couple of minutes ago by the hands of the bruiser right here. Pete Dunne folded Jordan Devlin inside out. And we've seen him put men away with that finishing maneuver before, and he does it again tonight. And the bruiserweight Pete Dunne start and roll off in a huge way. Building some last minute momentum on the road to extreme rules. Picking up a victory tonight over the Irish ace himself. Devlin putting up a fight, but in the end, the Intercontinental Champion is the one getting his hand raised. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Pete Dunne's back is turned, and the Prince Finn Balor is in the ring, and a backstabber to the bruiser weight. Finn Balor looking to get an early edge before these two meet, coming up on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. Balor with the Pele kick. And not the kind of actions that we like to see, but certainly the kind of actions that we expect out of Finn Balor. This man has been a different side of him the last number of months. And tonight, Finn Balor had his eyes on the bruiser weight, sending a message to the Intercontinental Champion that he's looking to walk away with the gold when these two men meet in the heart of Seattle at Extreme Rules for the Intercontinental Championship. Well, of course, coming up at Extreme Rules, Randy Orton goes one-on-one -on -one with his former tag team partner, Riddle. And earlier today, Orton addressed the current situation, saying, Everyone wants to know why I turned my back on Riddle. It's quite simple, actually. I made a Hall of Fame career doing this on my own. We had our success, but I saw the writing on the wall. I saw Riddle costing me opportunities and holding me back. It was time to cut ties. I tried putting Riddle out of his misery because I knew this split would be too much for him to handle. Unfortunately for him, he didn't catch a hint. He wants his payback fine but he's got one shot one night one match says the apex predator Warren went on to say that i refuse to waste any more time on riddle after extreme rules he is no more than dead to me he's got one shot at glory but when he ultimately fails i'll be moving on past him for good see you sunday kid i'll make you famous one last time time randy orton with harsh words leading up to his matchup with riddle at the extreme rules pay-per-view when the two members of rk bro meet one-on-one -on -one in a falls count anywhere matchup but another man looking to build momentum towards the pay-per-view one half of the world tag team champions Rey mysterio is in action live right here right now on monday night raw these two men with a world tag team championship defense coming up on august the 7th Rey mysterio in action tonight look to get some momentum in the corner of the father and son duo the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring accompanied by dominic mysterio from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Rey Mysterio! Dominic and Rey, the World Tag Team Champions of the World, put the titles up against the two men that they defeated for the gold back at SummerSlam. Eric and Ivar, it's the Viking Raiders versus the Mysterios for the WWE World Tag Team Championships in a Tag Team Tables matchup on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. It's a SummerSlam meeting. Those two teams tore down the house in Phoenix, Arizona. But when you add tables into play, what are they going to do? Come Seattle, Washington. But as for Rey Mysterio tonight, he's got his hands full with one member of Lucha House Party for the first time ever, one-on-one -on -one with Kalisto. And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Kalisto. 
A little bit of a dream matchup here as we move on with Monday Night Raw tonight. Kalisto, Rey Mysterio. For the first time ever, these two cruiserweights going one-on-one. -on -one. These two luchadors meeting inside the ring here tonight on Raw. And as we mentioned for Rey Mysterio, it's about building momentum for himself as well as his son Dominic on the road to Extreme Rules. But when you look at Kalisto here, the last time we saw him in action was in the lead up to SummerSlam where he was a participant in the Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator, which unfortunately for him, he came up short in his involvement in that. A win over Rey Mysterio tonight could absolutely possibly put Lucha House Party in line for a future World Tag Team Championship opportunity, or in Kalisto's case, in a singles manner, Possibly put him in the opportunity for a future Cruiserweight Championship matchup in the coming weeks as Rey Mysterio kicks us off hot here. Mexican Destroyer, if you will, taking down Kalisto. Rey Mysterio coming out swinging here tonight. Rey Mysterio has been in a roll for well over a month now. And again, they originally won those Tag Team Championships when they met Eric and Ivar 2v2 at SummerSlam. And boy, did those two teams ever tear down the house. What a match it was on that night. Dominic and Rey Mysterio ended the multiple month reign of Eric and Ivar to become the new World Tag Team Champions, the Viking Raiders invoking their rematch at Extreme Rules. And of course, the match being made at Tables matchup in the light of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Can't wait to see what those two teams are going to showcase for us when they meet inside of the ring in Seattle, Washington. Rey Mysterio taking the fight to Kalisto here. Kalisto looking dazed. Rey going to shoot him off into the corner. And Rey Mysterio coming full head of steam, but Kalisto cutting him off at the clothesline. And remember, oh man, Kalisto springboard moonsault there. Really taking the fight to Rey Mysterio. And Kalisto going for the cover on Rey. Rey a little dazed here. Rey able to get the shoulder up. But as I was about to say, remember in the lead up to SummerSlam, both Dominic and Rey Mysterio... Men Lucha House Party member Grand Metalik on WWE Main Event. On both of those occasions, Dominic was success successful and Rey Mysterio was successful as well. So both of these men with recent wins over a member of Lucha House Party. I'm sure Kalisto is looking to do one good for one of his tag team partners here tonight. Kalisto out here going it alone. Of course, Dominic Rey Mysterio's son in the corner of his father tonight. Tag team champions always st sticking by each other's side. Rey Mysterio, another moonsault there, Kalisto. Both men looking good in this contest. Kalisto definitely pulling out some high offense, high flying maneuvers to try to combat the legendary luchador. Rey Mysterio here, and a drop kick to the outside of the ring. Kalisto eating the floor to the back. In Kalisto's days, this is a big opportunity for Rey Mysterio to capitalize here, but on the other hand, Rey Mysterio's gotta be careful. As for any of the men competing here tonight that are going to be participating in the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, you don't want to risk injury, especially for the Mysterios with a tag team title defense coming up on August 7th. An injury for Rey Mysterio could definitely alter the result of that contest or quite possibly vacate the championships in the case of an injury for the Mysterios. Rey Mysterio got to be careful here. Participating in this matchup does not want to afford an injury Looking to come out unscathed, looking to come out with his hand raised here tonight. But Kalisto dodging that maneuver and now takes the offense back. And look at this, climbing the ropes and able to take Rey Mysterio over. Kalisto looking good, he's absolutely hanging in with Rey here. For once again in this contest, hits that springboard moonsault. And Rey's down and out, he's taking a couple of big time shots like that from Kalisto. Rib breaking shots. Rey Mysterio's got to be careful, as we mentioned, as he gets hung up in the top rope. But for Kalisto here, it's absolutely about trying to build some momentum for Lucha House Party. Pick up a win tonight. And whether that be for a possible future tag team championship opportunity, whether that be against the Mysterios or the Viking Raiders. But for Kalisto's sake, in a singles manner, as we mentioned earlier, I'm sure he would love to get back in the ring and have a chance to become the Cruiserweight Champion for yet another time in his career. Of course, the Cruiserweight Championship going to be on the line at Extreme Rules when the current champion, Ricochet, defends the title in a triangle ladder matchup against Isaiah Swerve Scott, as well as the former champion, Santos Escobar. So those three men with ladders in the play are absolutely going to tear down the arena in Seattle, Washington. The prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the world. 
Can't wait to see that matchup. Can't wait to see the all the matchups that are going to be taking place at Extreme Rules. Eight matches signed. One of them still to be announced here tonight. That was made earlier today. As Rey Mysterio, look at that. Springboard, sit down, moonsault. A move that Kalisto, at least a variation of a move that Kalisto's hit throughout this contest. And Mysterio here. I think we know what's coming. Dial up the cell phones. Six, one, nine. Springboard, frog splash, but Kalisto, look at that, getting out of the way here. And Kalisto, Salida del Sol. Kalisto's gonna steal one over Ray. Ray gets the shoulder up. Man, what a sequence of maneuvers there. Ray Mysterio hitting his world famous 619. Kalisto had it scouted. At least the move that was coming. Ray went for the frog splash. Kalisto got out of the way. Followed up with the Salida del Sol. This match isn't over just yet. But it certainly rolls on for both men. Big time sequence here as the fight has been taken to the outside of the ring and these two legendary cruiserweights are battling it out. Man, what a matchup here on Monday Night Raw already tonight. Pete Dunne picking up the victory over Jordan Devlin. Still to come, we're gonna see John Cena one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali for the very first time. And right now we got Rey Mysterio and Kalisto going at it for the sake of momentum here tonight. Kalisto's down, Rey Mysterio heading to the top rope. Frog Splash! Variation of the springboard maneuver that he was looking for a few moments ago. Follows it up with a double stomp. Mysterio with a kick. Mysterio recognizing the heart and the toughness of Kalisto here. Not going for the cover off that Frog Splash. Damage definitely done. Kalisto is dazed. Rey Mysterio's got something in mind here. Picking Kalisto up. Oh, wait a minute. Kalisto countered out and drives Rey Mysterio down to the canvas. And Kalisto hit that Salida del Sol. He hits one or two more big time maneuvers like that. And it may just be enough to keep one half of the World Tag Team Champions down. Kalisto into the cover. But Rey Mysterio able to squeak the shoulder off the canvas. This match is starting to get into some late rounds. I'm sure Rey Mysterio would have preferred to wrap this up a few moments ago with extreme rules nearing. And Rey taking down Kalisto once more. Rey heading back up to the top rope where he feels most comfortable when he hits that splash. Signature dive from the master of the 619, and Rey Mysterio picks up the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. A great contest between these two cruiserweights. Credit where it's due, Kalisto hung in there with one of the greatest masks of all time and one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Rey Mysterio. But in the end, Rey Mysterio getting the best of Kalisto and is leaving Monday Night Raw tonight with his hand raised high in the air. But will Rey Mysterio, along with his son Dominic, be in the winning ways come Extreme Rules when the World Tag Team Championships are on the line? As Monday Night Raw rolls on here tonight, a couple of more matches signed in the women's division. Liv Morgan looking to continue her recent momentum as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. What a matchup that is going to be. And on the other hand, the team who we just discussed a lot about, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, looking to build some momentum prior to Extreme Rules as they go 2v2 against Akira Tozawa and Kushida. Let's see who's getting their hand raised tonight on the final Raw before Extreme Rules. Liv Morgan picks up the victory over Shayna Baszler in that one-on-one -on -one contest. Liv Morgan continuing to build momentum for herself on a bit of a winning streak as of late. And on the other hand, Eric and Ivar with a last-ditch effort to build momentum towards Extreme Rules as they defeat Akira Tozawa and Kishida here tonight on Raw.
back inside the arena and the action continues for the first time since making his WWE return. There's a hurricane coming through here tonight on the red brand. The hurricane set for a one-on-one -on -one action against Seth Rollins' Disciple Murphy right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. It was on the main event after SummerSlam where the one and only Ricochet and Isaiah Swerve Scott teamed up against Legato Del Fantasma in a six-man tag team matchup. And who was their partner on that night? None other than the returning Hurricane Helms, a former Cruiserweight champion multiple times, a former World Tag Team champion, back in the graces of the WWE and ready to take the world by storm. Everybody's going to stand back because the Hurricane's coming through. And the Hurricane's looking to build momentum for himself. But he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Disciple of the Messiah, Murphy, alongside Seth Rollins here tonight. And we got news on Seth Rollins and his opponent at Extreme Rules coming up in moments. And his opponent accompanied by Seth Rollins from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 213 pounds, Murphy! So it was earlier today on Twitter that Seth Rollins stated this, more talk about RVD returning than the Messiah of the WWE? Not on my watch. RVD needs a match for Extreme Rules? Well, I'll take that challenge. After Sunday, all eyes will be on Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins laying out the challenge, and it has been signed. Rob Van Dam returns to the WWE in Seattle, and he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah of the WWE, Seth freaking Rollins one-on-one -on -one matchup signed for extreme rules what a matchup that is going to be coming up on Sunday night August the 7th 5 p.m. Eastern time a live premiere right here on the Nation gaming YouTube channel Seth Rollins may not be in action tonight but he's going to be standing in the corner of his disciple Murphy and I'm sure he's looking to Murphy to bring some good mojo to their pairing and build momentum on his behalf the hurricane Back here on Monday Night Raw in his second contest since returning to the WWE. Two former Cruiserweight champions in there right now and two former tag team champions of the world. Should be an interesting matchup as we are underway with another contest here tonight on Raw. And Hurricane taking the fight to Murphy right off the bat, but there's Murphy with the forearm. And the Hurricane may be hot off his return to the WWE in that six-man tag team match a couple of weeks ago. But it's been a little while since we've seen Murphy in action. It was on the roll after SummerSlam, where Murphy and Seth Rollins defeated AJ Styles, as well as Edge. Excuse me, it was the roll prior to SummerSlam, the go-home event, where SummerSlam opponents AJ Styles and Edge were forced to team up against the Messiah and the Disciple, and Seth Rollins and Murphy walked away with the victory on that night. Now Murphy, look at that power bomb to Hurricane. And Hurricane worse for wares right now. Murphy's Pretty much been in control since Hurricane's opening blow in this contest. Murphy going into the cover may have knocked out Hurricane off of that power bomb there. Hurricane Helms getting the shoulder off the mat. But what news for Seth Rollins for Extreme Rules? Laying out the challenge. The match has been signed. We knew RVD was going to be participating in action at Extreme Rules, making his return. We didn't know who his opponent was going to be. Seth Rollins throwing his name in the hat. And it's been made official. Seth freaking Rollins versus Rob Van Dam. One-on-one -on -one in Seattle, Washington on pay-per-view. What a matchup that is going to be. I can't wait to see RVD back in action here in the WWE. And as for Seth Rollins, we know what his last few months have looked like. A lot of losses in the column for Seth Rollins. In fact, the last time he was on pay-per-view at SummerSlam, him and Mustafa Ali writing the final chapter in their history book. Mustafa Ali defeated Seth Rollins in that steel cage matchup in Phoenix, Arizona. Seth Rollins just looking to move on with things and get back in the winning ways for himself. And that could all start for the Messiah. And really spoil the return of Rob Van Dam if he can pick up the victory against the whole damn show coming up at Extreme Rules. Look well, at the Hurricane here going for the crossbody, but Murphy had it scouted. Hurricane trying to 
Get back the offense and get some momentum in his corner, but Murphy there cutting him off. And what a stiff forearm from the Disciple. As we mentioned, both these men, former Cruiserweight champions, both these men, former tag team champions. Murphy on multiple occasions in NXT as well as here in the WWE. Murphy's a great competitor, really all-around wrestler and superstar inside of that ring. Got all the tools to get the job done and be a champion. And sometimes I wonder if why Murphy hangs around Seth Rollins. So I believe Murphy's got all the tools to be a star on his own. But regardless, Murphy tearing it up here against Hurricane, and what a knee following that flurry of offense. And that may have been the knockout blow for Hurricane Helms, but Helms gets the shoulder off the canvas. So Rollins got to like what he sees so far in this contest, but I'm sure he wants to see Murphy get that hand raise here tonight on Raw. Oh, wait a minute here. Hurricane's in trouble. Murphy's Law down on the canvas below. And into the cover, and you can probably count to 20 off that. And the disciple Murphy builds momentum on the behalf of Seth Rollins here tonight. An unfortunate loss for Hurricane Helms in his second matchup since returning to the WWE. Not the way he wanted things to go here tonight, but Murphy gets the win. And now all eyes move to extreme rules when the Messiah Seth Rollins takes on the returning whole damn show, R.V.D. Well, before we get to Extreme Rules on August the 7th, we have breaking news. The return of WWE. Saturday night's main event is going to be live on the eve of Extreme Rules. Saturday night, August the 6th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Huge event sign, and the main event for that night. Coming up on Saturday night's main event, a rivalry renewed. Longtime rivals, the franchise John Cena goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion Edge. Just 24 hours before these two men, along with three other superstars, will compete in that five-man challenge at Extreme Rules. Live, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night. August the 7th, right here on the No Edition Gaming YouTube channel. It's the long-awaited Extreme Rules pay-per-view. And coming up on that event, a triangle ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World as the one and only Ricochet puts the title up against number one contenders Isaiah Swerve Scott and the former champion, leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. The WWE World Tag Team Championships will be defended in a SummerSlam rematch. Will Eric and Ivar be able to take their titles back from Dominic and Ray, or will the role of the Mysterios continue in a tables matchup? As we just found out, the returning whole damn show, Rob Van Dam, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah of the WWE, Seth freaking Rollins. What a matchup that is gonna be at Extreme Rules. Two men with a vendetta against each other. A score will be settled in no holds barred. The Scottish psychopath, the Celtic warrior, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, one-on-one. -on -one. Something's gotta give between those two men. The Intercontinental Championship will be defended as the Bruiserweight takes on the Prince. Finn Balor, Pete Dunne, Pete Dunne's second defense in this reign thus far. And after Finn Balor's attack earlier tonight on Raw, the Bruiserweight's gonna have a score to settle in that contest. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line in a triple threat matchup. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defends the championship against two former champions, Bianca Belair and the woman she defeated for that title at SummerSlam, Shotzi. What a matchup that's going to be with the gold on the line. You want to talk about a score to be settled? Falls count anywhere. RK Bro has imploded before our eyes, and these two men are going to come to blows. Riddle, Randy Orton, one on one on August the 7th. And of course, in the main event of the pay-per-view, five-man elimination challenge for the WWE Championship of the World. Edge defends against Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, AJ Styles, and the franchise, John Cena. Five men who will be the last man standing and walking out with the gold on Sunday, August the 7th, live on pay-per-view at Extreme Rules. And it's gonna be a busy week for this man right here. John Cena set for action. This Saturday night, he's got Edge. This Sunday night, it's Extreme Rules. But tonight, it's first time ever versus Mustafa Ali. Let's get it on on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. It's John. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. I was about to make a call of John Cena, but I don't think Cena realizes all day Austin Theory is in the ring. Cena, turn around. What the hell is this? Austin Theory has seen it, but go at it for weeks ever since SummerSlam. Cena out here getting set for his match with Mustafa Ali. Austin Theory has hit the ring and is doing a number on the franchise player of the WWE. Austin Theory attacking John Cena here. These two men have been going at it ever since John Cena defeated Austin Theory at SummerSlam and then the following night in the tag team matchup on Raw. Austin Theory, remember he attacked John Cena after his match with Omos on main event a number of weeks ago. Cena settled the score last week on Raw against Austin Theory, costing him that match against Mustafa Ali. But it looks like Theory's got a score to settle with Cena still, but Cena's fighting back over all day Austin Theory here. This is not a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Theory just trying to get an edge, get some retribution over John Cena here tonight. Cena set for a matchup with Mustafa Ali. Cena trying to fend off Austin Theory after this attack. And Cena sending Theory out of here. And Austin Theory may have tried to get some revenge here tonight, but Cena had other plans. And man, you want to talk about a busy week for John Cena. We talked about it before, and now he's got to refocus for this matchup here. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 180. Man, oh man, it is a busy situation regarding the WWE Championship and all the players involved. Austin Theory attacking John Cena there. Cena able to fend him off. Theory going flee into the back. And now Cena's got to refocus because he's got this matchup with Mustafa Ali here. Yeah, these are two men that I'm sure have a great deal of respect for each other, but it's about competition and momentum here tonight. And both of these men going to be involved in the WWE Championship affair coming up at Extreme Rules. Neither man Let's have their shoulders pit of the canvas here tonight. Man, oh man, Cena's got Ali right here. Austin Theory attacking him. And as we found out, Saturday night's main event making its return on the eve of Extreme Rules, a special live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel that will be main evented by John Cena, reigniting his rivalry, a longtime rival, with the Rated R Superstar Edge. What a match that's going to be. That's just 24 hours before both of those men are going to compete and that five-man challenge for the WWE Championship. A busy week indeed, a whole lot of writing on everything regarding Extreme Rules, but especially regarding that WWE Championship matchup, but we gotta focus in, we gotta dial in. It's a first time ever main event on the Go Home Monday Night Raw to Extreme Rules. Right here before our eyes is Mustafa Ali, who has been on the roll of a lifetime these last number of months. Taking on John Cena for the first time in his career, and Cena, who has yet to be defeated since returning to the WWE. As we mentioned, a win over Austin Theory at SummerSlam, and the next night on Monday Night Raw, John Cena and Edge teaming up against Austin Theory at Omas. Cena and Edge getting the win on that night, and then, of course, the last time we saw John Cena, well, at least in action, I should say, was when he went one-on-one -on -one with the Colossal Omas on main event. And of course, Cena picked up the win on that night. And I say that's the last time we saw Cena in action because Cena, of course, reared his head last week up in that main event match between Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory. Showing up to cost up. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What the? Camera's cutting. Wait, wait a... In the crowd, in the... here in the arena, that's AJ Styles. That's Edge. We got a brawl going on between these two men. I didn't even know these two men were in the building. What the hell is going on right now? Uh, see, we, we got to cut back. We got a match going on. Cena and Ali are in the ring, but Edge and AJ Styles, the phenomenal one of the WWE champion, are brawling out in the audience at the current moment. And Cena taking down Ali in the ring. Man, what the hell is going on here tonight? Tensions are high on the road to Seattle. I mean, AJ Styles is in trouble here. Edge, these guys are out in the concrete, concrete area of the crowd. Edge just powerbombed AJ Styles through a damn table out there in the audience. What the hell is going on here tonight? Blood pressure is rising. Every man's looking to get the edge over one another, no pun intended, on the road to extreme rules. 
Austin Theory attacking John Cena. We got Cena and Ali going a one-on-one -on -one right now. Meanwhile, Edge and AJ Styles are continuing their brawl throughout the arena. All five men that are going to be competing for the WWE Championship absolutely just coming to blows here tonight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The brawl has been taken up to the entrance ramp as Edge just diving off the stage. And we got to keep up with the action in the ring at the same time, but Edge and AJ Styles are going at it. Cena coming from the top, dropping that, I guess, five-knuckle shuffle variation on Ali. We're trying to keep up with the action the best we can here, but a lot of action to call. And what a night it has been on Monday Night Raw. I am pumped up about tonight. I am pumped up about this week. We still got main event on Thursday, Saturday night's main event coming up on the 6th. Extreme Rules coming up on the 7th. Went with the brawl back up there. AJ Styles and Edge are going at it on the side of the stage now. AJ just dropped Edge with that neck breaker right on the concrete below. Meanwhile, Ali, nice neck breaker to John Cena. Cena's down. Mustafa Ali's headed to the top rope. And Ali, 450 splash to Cena. And that could be enough to put the franchise player away. Ali into the cover here. And Cena getting the shoulder. Uh oh, and the brawl has continued. AJ's down. Looks like Edge is heading back backstage. AJ's following him. I, I don't know what to think. The brawl has made its way back to the locker room. Wait a minute. Cut back to the ring. Ali with the 0-5-4. Mustafa Ali. Oh, my goodness. What a win here tonight. In the midst of all the chaos, in just a matter of the last couple of minutes, Mustafa Ali capitalizes on a situation and has got the victory here over John Cena. My God, what a what a night! Here is your winner, Mustafa Ali. All I can say is the chaos has reached a new level, and something's got to give. Come Sunday night, August the seventh. But all five of these men are going to compete for the WWE Championship. Main event coming up, plus Saturday night's main event. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you guys this week. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, if you hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.